welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my grandmother's sweet potatoes. So she calls them candied sweets. Um, I guess it's just like an old school name for them. They're basically just stove top sweet potatoes. They're not the traditional way of making them in the oven. So that's just a little disclaimer guys. This is going to be a little different and it's going to be totally different ingredients than what you would probably normally use whenever you make your sweet potato so this is just a different way to do it i wanted to share it with you guys because it's a staple at all of our family dinners so i figured i would share with you guys how we make our sweet potato so you want to make sure you have yams or sweet potatoes um i actually have yams here um one yam i have a big one this one will feed about maybe two people maybe three um with the way that i'm going to cut it up if you're going to be feeding an abundance of people you're clearly going to need more yams in this and probably a bigger pan than what I'm going to use or you're going to have to make it in batches so this is just going to be just for me and if I was going to feed one other person this would still be enough depending on how much they eat and hopefully they don't eat that much so the first thing you want to do is obviously peel your sweet potato just like this I mean you're literally just gonna slice it off I don't think I need to give you guys a tutorial on peeling a sweet potato but you pretty much just take your potato peeler and skin it <laughs> so after that then you're gonna slice it so let me go and peel this and I will be right back. alright guys we're back so the next thing I'm gonna do is slice this sweet potato so it is really important this part is crucial how thick you slice them is going to determine the texture of them so what I like to do is I like to just take a big giant butcher knife <laughs> and slice them like this into I would say about a quarter of an inch slices this is just the ending so it's not going to be as thick as I want it to be you can still use this though so what I like to do is I just cut off the ends first so that we have some like even pieces. These will still cook, so you can save those if you want. So I'm gonna cut them in a little round slices. So I would say about a quarter of an inch thick. I will do a close up for you guys so you can see. Yeah, just about a quarter. You wanna make sure that you're not making them too thin because then they will fall apart. You wanna make them thick enough that they won't fall apart once they get into the pan and start like cooking through. So yeah, slice them like this. This one's a little hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep slicing these and I'm gonna place them in a cast iron pan. These cook differently in a cast iron pan, you guys. I don't know how to explain that. Um, I've made them in a regular pan before and the texture was just different. So I personally prefer a cast iron pan. These smaller pieces, I'm just gonna slice this way, like sort of at an angle here, just to make sure that they're slices. All right, so now I have all of my sweet potatoes. I'm going to take my cast iron pan, it's already oiled down and everything. You don't need oil, I'm just saying like I make sure that's how I keep it clean. So I'm just gonna place these in the pan and the key to this is just kind of spreading them out. You can layer them on top of each other. It doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen to them. They'll still cook thoroughly because the amount of water you're going to put in is going to cook them all the way through. The thinner pieces I would place on the top though, to be honest, because you don't want these to be at the bottom. They'll cook too quickly and then they'll be like mushy. The next thing I'm going to do is just take my sugar Guys, don't freak out. A lot of people are gonna be like, what? A half a cup of sugar is diabetes waiting to happen. You don't use the whole cup. So I used about a quarter of a cup of sugar here and I just put it all over. Now we're gonna take water and put it in that and then place this on the stove. So this is a four ingredient recipe, you guys. It's literally butter, sugar, water, and sweet potato. To me, you get the best with this, with just the butter, sugar, and water. You don't have to use white sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can use any kind of sugar you want. It just has to be actual sugar though. So since we added a quarter of a cup of sugar, we're gonna add two cups of water and literally cut up some butter and place this on the stove. So I've placed my sweet potatoes on the stove. I have them cooking on a medium heat. This way, 
they can start to come to a boil and that's all you want to do is just let them come to a boil and then put a lid on them and let them simmer and they will cook through. So your butter literally has measurements on it you guys. So all you need is a half a stick of butter for this. Literally just cut the butter in half if you don't know where the half is it literally tells you so we're just going to cut the butter in half like this. Literally that simple. And then you can just place this one in the fridge or something you don't need the whole thing. Um, and then you just want to peel it because we're going to place it in slices inside the pan. So easy. You want to like evenly distribute the butter so that it gets through all of the um, sweet potatoes. So you want to add butter because butter and the, the butter and sugar are going to caramelize with the water and it's going to create a glaze. So that's why we're adding chunks of butter like this and you're literally just evenly distributing it around the pan. Super easy, super simple, literally four <laughs> ingredients to this, but like probably one of the easiest things you'll make ever. And you'll find this is a little faster than making traditional sweet potatoes and it literally tastes the same. The only thing you're not adding is all of that cinnamon and nutmeg and all that stuff. You can add all that if you want to, but I have always grown up on these and the traditional way my grandma always made them was just butter, sugar, and water. Like so simple. Just You just gotta have your measurements right and you gotta cook them in a cast iron pan and you have to make sure you slice them perfectly. So once you bring your sweet potatoes to a boil or a simmer, then you're going to just kind of watch them for a little bit. You want to make sure you don't cook them too long because then they'll be too soft. So what I like to do is just take a little knife or fork and kind of poke them to see if it will go through. If it goes through, they're pretty much almost done. Literally, once you get these on the stove and get them boiling, you only really need to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. I like to let the glaze cook down. As you can see, I was kind of testing the glaze. Once it starts to caramelize and become like a thick syrupy texture, then you're basically done. As long as you can stick your knife through your sweet potatoes your sweet potatoes are finished or yams whichever ones you want to use I prefer yams when making these and yeah so ba basically these are done you guys once they start to thicken and become a syrupy texture and they're soft you're good to go okay guys so this is what you want your sweet potatoes or candied sweets to look like they're literally just gonna be thin slices of sweet potato like this. All right guys, that's it. Thank you for tuning in this week for Cooking with Ashley or Oh Ashley. Hope that you guys enjoyed this quick, easy recipe. Remember, four ingredients, sweet potatoes or yams, sugar, butter, and water. So easy, so quick, and so sweet. Love you guys, bye.